Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I have an interview I did with DJI a few weeks back while we were out at CES in Las Vegas. Now, I was lucky enough to score an interview with a gentleman named Patrick Santucci, who's a test engineer for DJI. Now, I think he's also part of the design team, but he wouldn't admit to that, and I tried to get it out of him a couple of times, but they tend to be very humble at that company, so let's just say he's a design and test engineer for DJI. Now, I went there with a lot of questions from you guys about the smart controller, because to set the stage for this interview, I'd released a clip that morning when they announced the smart controller and had a flood of questions from you guys about the technology behind it and where they came up with the idea for it and all the rest of it. So I did focus a lot on what the smart controller was all about from DJI and sort of the technology behind it. But I tried to sneak in a couple of other questions about future technologies and roadmap discussions. And these guys are well-trained to not answer those questions. But if you read between the lines during this interview, you kind of get a couple of hints of what may be coming in the spring. So I'm going to run the interview now. I will be doing a lot more reviews on this controller. We've been using it for the last couple of weeks. I've really put it through its paces and tested it a lot with not only the Mavic 2 series of products, but a bunch of other drones. So I've got a lot of insights around what this thing can do and maybe some of the expanded capabilities of what you can expect from it down the road. But either way, that's going to be for another clip. For today, I've got the interview for you. So give it a look. If you have any questions about what we talked about, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to as soon as I can. And I promise you I've got at least a half a dozen more interviews from CES we'll be posting over the next week. So stay tuned and I'll run the interview. Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again at CES 2019. I'm here with Patrick, who's one of the developer engineers for the brand new smart controller. <laughs> no, and I'm going to ask, well, I'm giving you a lot of credit. Come on now. No. <laughs> Don't pay attention to him. <laughs> no. So if you have complaints, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. All right, so wonderful product. I've had it in my hands for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, I'm blown away again by the technology. I don't know where you guys come up with this stuff. It's, yeah. it's more than just taking a Crystal Sky monitor and jamming it into a controller. Yeah. Like you've really, I think, listened to the users out there and said, we want to add extra programs to it. So you've made it a little yeah. open, more open to do that. Um, what are your proudest things about that technology so far? What do you like about it the best? Uh, I'm, well, you can't really go wrong with the screen. I mean, being able to actually see your camera view it's feed so in. Bright. The, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, like, just like all you drone flyers, uh, you're out in the field and, and you, you're squinting down. You're and, under or a tree you have, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. Right. So this is uh, incredibly useful to have this option. Uh, on the market right now, um, but also the um, customizable dashboard is really interesting. So not only are we, you know, supporting DJI Go 4 for the Mavic 2 series, uh, but at sooner later, I mean, uh, in a late future firmware updates, we'll be able to support DJI Pilot uh, further, uh, building on the ecosystem around the Mavic series, um, and then hopefully in future products as well, uh, using the OcuSync 2.0 tech. Wow, it's fantastic. Yeah. So I know I only put the clip up this morning and it's got a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. One of the main ones I'm getting on a regular basis is, will you expand the use of this to other drones? And I know that's tough because the radio transmitter in there is an OcuSync technology. Yeah. You've got some Wi-Fi in there and you've got some um, Bluetooth in there as well for binding. I mean, man as well. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry, it's, it's a busy place. These guys are a popular company. Anyway, um, um, but I know that limits it because if you've got a Phantom, you've got OcuSync, straight OcuSync, yeah. you've got Wi-Fi. So I know you're going to try your best to do that, but Absolutely. is there a possibility that you may see some of that future yeah. versions? No commitments. Um, it's really hard to say because um, I couldn't tell you what the next transmission signal is going to be out. All right, so I'm sorry about that jump cut, but my expert technician back there, Colin, uh, didn't change the battery, so so normally we can do it in one cake, but anyway, blame that one on Colin. So I was asking you about uh, expansion. Now, I love the fact that, like you said, OcuSync technology is brand new. Mm -hmm. The 2 is the latest version of it, yeah. so I'm assuming that, and I'm not going to ask you this hard question, <laughs> although I probably will, and if you smile, I'll know something about it, but the next generation of drone coming out, I'm assuming it'll probably have some OcuSync 2 technology in it. Um, I would like to assume so, but oh. I really couldn't can give you a. a I'm going to assume it is. All right, so we'll assume it's OcuSync too in the new one, which would be great because then I can use that for my next drone. Yeah. The other complaint that I got, and I don't understand this, is it's expensive. Boy, is it expensive! And I yes. get that it's a lot of money. I do totally understand that. Yeah. But I fly every day, mm -hmm. and me going out with my original Mavic 2 controller, it flies great. But I've got my phone, which yeah. is a six eight hundred dollar investment. Yeah. Absolutely. Or I've got a Crystal Sky, which is a six eight hundred dollar investment. Yeah. Then I have to deal with cables, and I yeah. got to. To deal with Mounting batteries, two charging, two different batteries. Absolutely. What I what I found with this was when I got it, I powered it up, I went outside and I flew, and it was just so much easier. Yeah. All the hassle was out of it. It was up in a minute. It boots fast, and it's so much fun to fly with it. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's the pushback is that, you know, it is expensive, but unfortunately, 
that level of technology Absolutely. to a device and make it cheap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really meant to just enhance your overall overall flying experience. Uh, to put this in your bag, you know that it's charged. You take it out. You don't have to rely on your battery on your smartphone. You don't have to drain that battery. Right. Um, there's been so many times where I've been flying and I go to I finish up flying, my phone is like almost dead. Right. Um, so having this and not again, it comes back to the screen. It's so bright. Uh, it's customizable. So uh, it is it is agreed a little on the higher side, but for what you get, um, the amount of technology in this, right. uh, it's, it, it, it is justifiable in my opinion. All right, I agree with you, and I don't want to talk this to death, but I find that a lot of guys when they fly will start with their phone, then I get a bunch of emails saying, hey, I can't use my phone anymore, I want yeah. to get a tablet, what do I buy? Yeah. They're going to invest in a dedicated tablet exactly. anyway, so it's all one product. Super common. So that. compliments on everything. Number one, I love the folding antennas, Yeah, very perfect crazy. alignment, going to give you the exact pattern you need. I also love the fact that you've got, it looks like QC3 standard charging in there. Mm -hmm. It's got a quick charge capability yeah. on it, right? Yes. So you're punching in, you're charging up to 50% in literally like 20 minutes. So yeah. I'm getting half my power back, yeah. which is great. I've also tested it with using a power bank in my pocket. Not that I need it, but to extend that life beyond two hours. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. How did that go? Went well. All right. Went well, yeah, so it works. So there that. you go, a little hack there. Yeah, Look yeah. at that, first stop, there you go. Um, but then the other thing I wanted to ask you about was the HDMI output. Yeah. I mean, a lot of guys have complained forever about, oh, why do I have to buy that extra HDMI card? The fact that you built it in there was yeah. really nice. Yeah, right? it's, it's incredibly useful. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And then I haven't tested this yet, but I'm going to ask you to put you on the spot. Tethering two remotes. Yeah, pilot I have not tried pilot. that. You haven't so tried I, it. I could not, I could not answer we'll it. We'll test that on the channel as yeah, well. So I've only just gotten my, All right. I've only just got my samples last week, so I, <laughs> and between the show and, and testing, I have yeah. not had too much time to test it myself. All right, I'm the same as you. We've been running around like yeah. When yeah. I get back from the show, i got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, one other quick question was around, I'm trying to think of it now, oh, the price. I keep going back to that. Yeah. I like the fact that you didn't force people to buy a regular remote Mm -hmm. with it, right? Get a Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom with a regular remote yeah. and then have to buy this as a secondary accessory. Yeah. Like today when you announce a remote, the packages now include the smart remote as an option. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at the pricing, it wasn't that much more yeah. to include the smart remote over the standard remote. Absolutely, yeah. You could have been, if you were greedy, you could have said, no, we're releasing it with the remote. Yeah. You guys have to spend 800 bucks or whatever Absolutely. to buy the new one. So that's yeah. kind of nice. Yeah, and as, as a company, and uh, whether it's just for us or as an industry, it's, it, we like to see the, the growth of the industry. I mean, right. there's so much you can do with this technology that is just being tapped into. So the more that we can put these in people's hands and explore it, uh, create stuff, uh, find a passion in it, like, right. I think that's really the true value. All right, so two more questions. I promise this is it. First one's a simple one. So today it's Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, Mavic 2 Enterprise is coming, both the yeah. straight version Zoom and the, and the 2. Yeah. And then the last question, which is easy, is do you guys have a secret Martian strapped to a bench that's working on this technology? Ooh, no comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm telling you, I watch you guys, and the, and the pace of change with the technology release, whether it's the Mavic 2, which is astounding, this kind of thing, the Osmo yeah. Pocket, like that technology, this piece should be, it looks like a generation three product. Yeah. It doesn't look like a first generation clunky big box that you're just going to put up with, right? Yeah. That's a refined engineering decision. Absolutely. And uh, as we grow as a company, you know, now we've hit, I think, the 15,000 mark. A significant portion of that is R&D. Right. So what we take, you know, from profit is... A whole lot of nerds goes... working there. <laughs> like us. <laughs> like, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, That's a good and, thing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm definitely not complaining about that. Okay. So having that large force of R&D um, to really help push innovation, uh, and it's really the, you know, a core aspect of DJI is really taking technology and saying, uh, how do we make it not just uh, two times better, how do we make it three times better, four right. times better, five times better. Yeah. You're really, and you could, don't take this the wrong way, but being as large as you are and as popular as you are, you could rest on your laurels. Yeah, You could absolutely. say, hey, we're building when we want to build it, right? Yeah. But instead, yeah. you're continuing to innovate. Absolutely, yeah. And I get I get charged all the time with being a DJI fanboy on the channel all the time, but it's because of stuff like this. When yeah. I look at stuff like that, I'm like, it's yeah. like Christmas morning. Yeah, you take it out and you say, it's just, wow. Damn, they did a good job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, well, that's enough for today. Yeah. So, Patrick, thanks so much for yeah, taking pleasure. time with us. We'll see you guys soon.